Good day traders, welcome back to the Forex World Trading Academy. Today I will present you the Euro versus Pound currency pair. And these are some bullish potential price potential that is expected. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do so now in order not to miss any future analysis and forecasts for major and other currency pairs. To remind you all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. And what is happening today on the euro pound? I think this is something major. It's a major breakout of this pattern that has been forming since uh, September. So two months we have seen this wedge descending wedge and now it's it seems like the price is breaking to the upside we already saw this break and close on the four hour candle here broke above and then we see this clean bounce of the 200 exponential moving average this is a very bullish sign the, besides it, there was a bounce not only of the moving average but the downtrend trend line as well clean rejection and price produced a new higher high and what I would expect is the fast move to the upside, as long as this low holds, one hour and four hour candles remain above this low. There could be spikes, obviously, but overall it's starting to look extremely bullish. And I think this trend will be pretty fast to the upside. We might see 120 pips growth potential. In regards to the resistance, we have this level at 0 0.9242 and it corresponds to two FIPS. First is applied to this last wave to the upside and we see 50% FIPS and then another FIPS applied to this corrective move to the downside where the downtrend trend line and the moving average was rejected cleanly. And this is 627.2 FIPS. This is starting to look very, very, very bullish in my view, as long as this support holds. Now, if we see the break to the downside, I think that this bullish forecast can be invalidated. So this is a very important level to watch, which is near 0 0.9080. And if we see the breakout, price could be actually moving to the downside because there is still this resistance here where the previous bounce of the trend line occurred but if there will be a break above this resistance as well this will be yet another confirmation of this strong momentum bullish momentum for the euro versus pound and it looks like the euro continues to be very strong across the board and now let's move back to the all euro related currency pairs the analysis we made previously euro new zealand dollar well you see this is what has been expected and we might see the continuation of this massive move to the upside euro still is strong and i do expect the continuation of the uptrend on the euro new zealand dollar the euro canadian we have reached this resistance area here but I think it will continue moving up and we might actually see price moving as high as 158.70, which is still about 300 pips from this price. So also very bullish Euro Canadian. The Euro dollar, we're yet to test one of the resistance. Again, we're bullish on the Euro. So here still expecting one of the resistance to be tested. Euro Japanese Yen also bullish. Here we see the forward chart and these are the potential. We see this breakout of the resistance that I did expect. Price went up, it just sliced through and there is more upside. At least double top I would expect. So we need to watch the previously made resistance here at 125.07. But yes, yeah, also bullish. The Euro Swiss franc. Here is our critical point which hasn't been broken yet. So also bullish, but if there will be move lower below, it will be bearish. But so far looks still bullish on the daily time frame. And the Euro Australian dollar, look guys, this is just amazing how, how fast it went to the upside. It broke all the resistance levels that I did expect. So this could be a massive move. This could be a very strong and sharp move to the upside on the Euro Australian dollar as well. So all the Euro pairs that we had previously are bullish, very bullish, and this same applies to the euro versus GBP. Now, in regards to the pound Canadian dollar, we're still holding this low and price it is at the support, but 
considering that the euro pound will be strong it could be that the pound will be struggling as well so for this reason guys i will invalidate these analysis and uh, we will not get back to them because it's a bit too risky to hold it while we have euro pound long as well now pound australian dollar we see this breakout as well and now we might see this corrective move and then up but all in all the target has been tested here on the pound australian dollar and i will not get back to it so this was quite a nice move i think we will see more upside potential but who knows also important to watch what will be happening on the daily time frame and we see the rejection of 200 exponential moving average this could be the top on the daily time frame we cleanly rejecting the resistance that i did expect so it could be that the day will be closing lower and in this case pound will start to struggle so here uh, we have reached the target and i'm closing the chart as well congrats who followed on the pound australian dollar next one is the australian versus dollar we held the resistance very nicely on the daily time frame if i just show you here was no break above this resistance and this is very bearish still so yeah australian dollar almost reached the target the downside target so still a little bit to go but maybe it will go more than this support australian canadian well this definitely is invalidated since we broke the support and it seems like there could be more downside potential so yeah definitely invalidated so closing the chart ethereum still struggling to move anywhere just consolidating which is normal but i would expect at some point this move to the upside to begin gold gold failed to close above the resistance so we need to adjust the level you can see the spike produced where the 200 simple moving average was rejected and we need now four hour candle break and close above to confirm the uptrend before that there could be this consolidation and there could be still this move to the downside this corrective move to the downside that i did expect previously so that's what i would expect at least at least till the point when we have this breakout to the upside silver well it it's looks still bullish but don't get me wrong there could be yet another move to the downside long-term bullish still expecting this sort of scenario where the price will be reaching 26.4 resistance area at some point in time but there could be still this consolidation only if the price will be breaking below the low it will be completely invalidated so it looks just bullish long term but medium short term could be quite choppy market new zealand canadian dollar well here we broke below the support also invalidated i think there will be more to the downside it will be pretty strong move to the downside since this was the important level i think we will see something like that from this point onwards potentially it will retest this bottom of the channel and this could be a very strong move for the new zealand canadian the bullish outlook definitely invalidated now it remains very bearish and uh, euro pound yeah we did that today i do hope you enjoyed it guys if you did smash the like just don't forget to post the comment what you think about the euro versus pound whether you are bullish whether you're bearish whether you agree with this uh, analysis and if you haven't subscribed to the channel obviously you can smash the subscribe button not to miss any of the future analysis that are coming up daily thank you guys for watching we'll see you all tomorrow